baseball is our national sport, our national pastime. Joining together as men in order to reward the act of running around Look in a circle. I will thank you not to take its name in vain, Chavez. I hate that spring training. Who do those guys think they are? Coming here and getting in the way, showing us no respect, drinking our orange juice and seducing our women folk. Train in your own home, mister. Our national game down here, my friend, is digging. Digging a big ditch. Ditch of hope, which will flood into a river of freedom. So far, we've dug 17 feet. We're almost free, almost, when we are floating away in the Caribbean Sea, free to run things our way, singing Kumbaya in the sunshine. No school, no tax, free barbecue and pinball for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Ismo, what about the little guy? What about the guy who's standing there saying, I like being part of America. I like it a lot. I get public radio. I can hear Maurice Chavez. I own a small one-bedroom home, a business selling flowers to people stuck in traffic. Three or four radios all turned on to BCPR. A dog, 15 ice cubes. But I don't feel safe. I'm worried about gangs. Gangs are a myth put out by the liberal elite to patronize and demean the working man. I mean, what kind of right-minded youth from a poorer background is going to spend his time stealing things and posing in silly clothes when he could be getting ahead with a minimum wage job and making his parent proud? The dream of America is to live in a duplex and share a yard. Why would anyone want to threaten that great future? Answer me that and I'll show you a green dog. And speaking for the underdog, the foundation I set up with my trust fund we believe gangs are a valid expression of a people's identity, a grouping, a community within a community. Gangs are a way to be noticed in the boxy suburbs. You scream out. Rather than urinate at the edge of your camp like a proud native, we spray paint our names on the walls of the mall to ward off predators. And that's supposed to terrify people? No, no. We believe passionately in nonviolent solutions to life's problems. Gangs have to learn to love, to be inclusionary. We'd award badges to good gangs and give bad gangs a silly hat to wear. It would give people something to feel a part of. Kill with kindness, not a garden tool. Yes, but what about the guy getting beaten up on the street? Or the man having his motorcycle stolen? What about him? Or her? Some of the best bikers are really women. Anyone can join our group. This is about poor people getting together. What should I do about her? 